home. That's what we have here. <laughs> there's, um, there's lots of wires. <laughs> Bit of a rat's nest on the wires. But it's only one experiment. What we've got is we substituted our... So this is our original diode matrix, okay? Mm -hmm. Which is hooked into the uh, reed switches. Right? And what I've done... As you can see, my beautiful job on the whole effects. Okay? Friggin' A. <laughs> yeah? Mm -hmm. We've got to get right in there, there you go. Look at that. Mm. Mm. So, obviously I put Hall Effect devices on there instead. Well, as well. And we put them in to um, KSP94 PNP because they um, they switch the negative. So they ground, they don't supply. And so we've used PMP transistors to, to obtain a supply, an on current from the positive, to give us the output. And we're using the relays just simply because I just it was running. So I just wanted to do it. Okay, so the circuit is basically we've got our Hall effects and we have our diode matrix here. To switch the bases of the KSPs, the PMP transistors, but instead of the FETs down here, we've still got relays in there. So all of these these KSP 94s are switching the relay coils. Then. Okay. And our diode matrix here, it needed to be uh, inverted. Current goes in from the bases and out through the. Uh, Hall effects, because that's the way the Hall effects work. They're open collector. And this is our diode matrix. From that, we've gone down to that. So we've been very, very busy. Let me just move this out of the way. And you may well just be able to see. I don't know, let's get underneath it. Just there. Uh, <laughs> uh, the uh, 1N4 and 4 8 diode matrix. It's basically, it's two boards sandwiched together with the diodes going across between the two boards so that it's still, it's like a matrix. I wanted to actually make it physically like a matrix and it's it's flipped over so as you see it there the line there is the bottom one here, oopsie, the bottom one here and this line here is the top one and then we've got the, the uh, base connections they're, they're still straight and so these are the base connections going through on the white wires into the bases by 10k resistors and then we've got a 10k across to the uh, supply and the emitter and then the collectors are coming across on the blue wires and one of them are basically snagged into uh, an LED so I can see it and the rest of them they're just sort of like they're just hooked in using the uh, original connections you see and it's working it's turning slowly, and I'll just stop it now, and you can see, if you look at the actual LED, and I've actually checked it, and there is a slight off period between each Hall effect, right? So there's no overlapping, the Hall effects are picking it up right next to and you can actually stop it, if I stop it, there, see? That's actually stopped, right? The, the reason no the LEDs are on is because it's going through there, but none of the actual LED, none of the relays are actually latched. And all you have to do is just nudge it a little tiny bit so it brings the whole effect in. Hey! <laughs> I think that's a bit of spring, basically. There you go. See? And it runs. We've got a 60 degree phase, I'm pretty sure it's 60 degrees. If I can check it, can't I? If I can feel the pull. Yeah. Mm. And you can see that the relays are actually switching. But what we're not getting, which we did get with the uh, with the version that used the, um, uh, so I can see it. Yeah, you can see it. It's kind of a bit PWM because it's switching off. But what we're not getting, I don't believe, 
Yeah, you can see that they're not, there's no shoot through going on. You see? There's no shoot through. <coughs> Which was happening because the reeds, they were, there was, you know, like three of them were actually on because of the magnets. They're not very sensitive. Whereas the Hall effects are very sensitive, you see. And so they're only picking it up when the magnet actually passes it. If it's on, there's an off period between each one, like I demonstrated before. The easiest one is that one, I think there's a big gap there. Whee! Let's get it to sit there. That's not the easiest one then. Alright, there then. You see, and we've got an off period between them. And all I need to do is just nudge it to the side so it brings it in, and there it is. You see? So it works. For 60 degrees, it might work better if I make it 120 or 180 degrees. And I'm probably, I, I wouldn't, there you go. No, you can't. Because these work too quickly, you know, they're actually not turning on. You see? I can turn the voltage off. I've got the voltage of about a volt. I turn the voltage on, it goes a bit faster. But then it, it gets to the point where the relays themselves aren't actually latching. See? 